Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more Battletech. We're about to go ahead and pick up another contract, but before we do, we want to get this Highlander up and running. So we're going to quickly speed through a day or two, and then pick up our contract. So the one I'm thinking we're going to start with is a simple witness protection. It's an escort mission, good chance for solid salvage, so I think that that is definitely what we're going to take more salvage is more money and it's against the augura directorate of which we have no love so uh let us see got ourselves our atlas our highlander marauder and archer hmm question is do we try the do we try the annihilator well we do have the highlander now with the tag so that might be worth holding on to you know what I think we'll bring out the Annihilator in maybe another mission. Uh, escort. I think, uh... I think Missile Support could be useful to have. Yeah, so I think, uh... I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we are in a Tundra. That should be, uh... Relatively interesting terrain, so maybe a little bit of indirect fire wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, I think that should be fun. Alright, so, I think that should, uh, yeah, we've got a pretty solid lance at the moment. I'm thinking, uh, I'm not 100% sure what we want to do with the Annihilator, um, as far as what our full loadouts would be. I think, uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but then again, uh, we've still got a lot heavier missions. I don't know at some point whether it's going to be where whether we need a full ton of 100 tonners, sorry, a full lance of 100 tonners or not. But I would certainly like to have that option. Alright, so, before we get to any of that though, we need to do today's mission. Escort convoy to safety and escape. An ally of the Augeron Directorate here in Weldry stands accused of a long list of illegal, unethical and deplorable activities. Proof of her guilt was being transported to a spaceport for safekeeping of planet when it was attacked by unidentified mercenary forces. The convoy narrowly escaped, and we need you to protect it while we arrange for a dropship pickup. Okay, if it's going to be attacked, it's uh, just about guarantee it's going to be attacked again. Somehow, we doubt they will give up that easily. Hey, we have friendly units in danger, Commander. Move to intercept them and provide support. Okay, get them safely, keep them intact, and get out of there when it's done. Alright, well very conveniently we're starting on a road that will give us some nice extra movement. And we're not really too bothered by the terrain in this one. Okay, maybe the Annihilator would have been an alright choice. Alright, well, either way, we will figure it out as we go. Let's sprint on forwards. Roger make the most of the that. movement that we have available. Excellent. Alright. Ready for orders. Still no contact, so let's bring the Marauder forwards. On my way. Uh, same with the Highlander. Awaiting and order. the Atlas. I understand. The archer, I think we can go ahead and we'll pop you into the trees just in case we do detect anything. Standing by. Alright, let's bring everybody aye forwards. Aye. Make sure that we're in a uh, decent position there. We'll take that Have capture no zone. Doubt. It will be done. Uh Ranek, I suppose. Where do we want to move you? Yeah, we're probably going to be running down in that direction. Let's get ourselves a little bit closer. Affirmative. And you know what? We'll spread out with the archer just in Position case that uh, gives us the right amount of sensor range to see incoming mechs. Right, so far no problems. Alright, I'm receiving a word from the convoy. You've secured the area around their position and they are making their way towards the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Keep in mind that the convoy will try to stay near you for protection, continuing to advance to to get them to the extract. Okay. A little bit peculiar. Normally we've uh, had a bit of a fight before 
we've uh, had to pick up convoy in the past. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be a very tough land or whether there's going to be a lot of enemies. Alright, well the good news is we have the road. They're making quick progress. Gonna have to see what they've got. Alright. A locust. That's not the end of the world. We can manage one of those. And then there is an unknown vehicle in the background that does apparently appear to be in the first initiative. So my guess is maybe a demolisher. Yeah, hopefully it won't have the range. Maybe we need to, uh, yeah, break that up nice and quickly. All right, let's go. Ready to get it on. Headhunter, let's get you going. We'll have a moderate shot here, but we do have plenty of range. So you know what? We'll go ahead and try and do it. Moving to position. Hopefully you will uh, land a shot or two. Now these mechs are in. Oh, they geo. It has moved through geothermal terrain. Will only gain 50% of its normal heat until the end of its next activation. Okay. That's bad for them, but I don't really care. They've got a little bit of cover and forest. Okay. Full repair. So I suppose we're going to have to do some decent damage. Unfortunately, these medium lasers are pretty much at their wit's end there. There's a very difficult shot. Yeah, all right. Well, either way, we're going to go ahead and fire this stuff and see what we can do. Oh. All right. Well, I'm guessing that gal's hit. That is uh, very nice. All right. Firemaster, I think. I do enjoy having you around, but you've got all those LRMs, so I think it's better off just to save you for now and make sure that we get shots off just so we have better targeting information and uh yeah we'll do them we'll do the volley and see if we can distract them oh okay and they've also got an unknown mech okay uh we're gonna reserve again and we will see what we're dealing with now with any luck we will be able to keep everybody alive but there's never a guarantee about that so all right what are we dealing with Ooh. Yeah, not much we could have done about that one. Those uh, LRM carriers, yeah, are pretty annoying. Alright, and then also another unknown vehicle and a mech. Ready for orders. Uh, we need to get everybody going as quick as possible. I guess we probably should have started scouting down this road first. But unfortunately, we're not going to quite get there in time. And then we'll do the same with Rabbit. Yes, Commander. Unfortunately, we also don't have the sensor lock. So we're just going to have to go ahead and sprint as best we can. And try and get Spymaster. Uh, yeah, no targeting data. That is painful. Alright, well. Seems we're going to be stuck in a bit of a spot of bother. Yeah, and we moved far away from the road. That is... Yeah, I was absolutely expecting to have more of a uh, fight before that happened, but not much we can do. Alright, let's go. Orders. I don't know if Rannick is the right move here. Uh, we could potentially get out front. Ready for orders. Spymaster, you know what? You've got better... You've got better movement. Um. Yeah. Oh. What's up, boss? Actually, our marauder, our marauder has more armor. Oh, that is awkward. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do we move or do we sensor lock a vehicle? If we go so far, who would we have in range? We'd have sixty tons. We'd have. 40 tons there. Not so bothered about that light mech. It's going to be these bigger guys. Yeah, we're going to see if... Uh, you know what? It's not going to make a difference if we don't have alternate targets for it to shoot at. We'll only be able to focus on them. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and sprint. 
I think that's the uh, only thing we can do. I don't think a... Oh, you know what? We do have a fair bit of damage. That's what. Uh, 60 for the LRM 15s. 120. Yeah. I just don't know. I think they've got too much armor for a single salvo to be effective. So, all right. We're just going to go ahead and sprint. We're going to run as far forwards as possible. Uh, with any luck, they will try and uh, no focus shoot, on us run. instead. All right. So, that's one. Waiting for orders. And you know what? We'll go ahead and put us up here as well. No. Commander. Where is that spot? There we go. Uh, you know what? We'll actually head up here. We should get a slight better angle oh. on the approach next turn. Alright, unfortunately they're moving forwards. Yeah, nothing can be done here. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. Good news is they are carrying weapons. So we may not be able to save everybody in this mission. But we should have a pretty good job of uh, at least saving three of them. Okay, everyone moving up. Uh, yeah, that LRM carrier is not going down, unfortunately. Oh, thank goodness, it's going for us. That is what we wanted. Okay. That is surprisingly good news. Waiting for orders. Alright, Angel, you do have the ability for one barrage from an LRM, but I don't think that's what we really want you for in this one. Let's bring... Let's bring you as far as we can. Yeah, we're just in a really crappy position. We are not able to uh, get within a proper spot to fight. Here I was thinking this was going to be a bit more slow and winding instead of a full sprint. Oh well. I understand. Sometimes mercenary work can be a little bit wacky. Alright. Ooh, stray shot. That, uh... Is probably good. They would have been aiming for the weaker one. Where is our buddy here? He's got eight hit points on the right. That is not ideal with all of that there. Yeah, there goes that cicada. Okay, we can deal with that. LRM. Yeah, we really need to get rid of that carrier there. Yeah, 180 plus an extra good grief. Yeah, there's... Oh, maybe we would have stood a chance if we fired a full barrage. That's not as heavily armored as I thought it was. Hmm. Alright, well. Receiving you. Good news is we have lost nobody, so let's get you going. We're gonna go. Bring you up. Actually, hang on a second. Got something you want done? Uh Rennick, let's move you forwards first. We'll take shots at the cicada. And then I think this you know what? Ready for orders. We'll move Spy Master first. Just because we can uh, focus on that LRM carrier, and if for some reason we do uh, we do not get the kill, we can then put Rannik onto it too, since the uh, Cicada has already had its turn. In fact, uh, I think what we might do... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and multi-target. Everything against... No, oh, we don't even need to do everything, do we? Hmm. Alright, we're going to move over a few things over to B. I think we'll go... What do we need? We need at least 27, 27 or a good, yeah, uh, we're gonna go 120, that's probably worthwhile. Yeah, we'll send the two LRM 15s at the LRM carrier, and then also the medium lasers, and yeah, that should be fine. So we'll then send the LRM 5s over to B, burn through a little bit of that evasion, that's a guaranteed kill. Yeah, that's good. Multiple enemies. In. All right, sweet. One sorted. Oh, a head injury. Excellent. That's what we're wanting. Receiving you. All right, Renek. Now we can follow up with you, and we know what we're dealing with. Hopefully, location confirmed. We can uh, fix the rest of that. So we barely scratched the cockpit, but that'll be fine. 
precision strike should make sure that it is no longer there, or at the very least, severely impaired. Engaging target. Hmm, structure exposed, head injury, yeah. Unfortunately, not too much we could do about that, although maybe some of our vehicles here could take the kill. This would be... Oh, ah, bother. Oh my goodness. We survived. Well, you know what? That'll totally do it. All right. Tag marked as well. That's handy. Yeah, these guys are going to finish this guy off with no problems. All right, sweet. So that just gives us the silly little striker in the back. And uh, it's even been tagged for us. Fantastic. All right. So the tag. Let's see. What is this for? This is for 10% more damage from ballistic en and energy attack. Nice. Commander. Right. Angel, we may as well. Uh, can't quite use our jump jets to get there. I suppose we're just going to go ahead and sprint. They could always be sending in some last minute reinforcements. Full speed, no target. So we may as well have you in a better position for that. Reporting. Rabbit, you don't have jump jets in the uh, good old chunky Atlas. Yes, Commander. So we're just going to chill on out. Now, we don't really have anything to worry about. We have plenty of damage before then. Uh, Ranek, let's travel. Standing by. Yeah, you know what? I think we hold off. Yeah, we'll use Spymaster. Yeah, we'll go full barrage there. This should be more than enough. And handle you. Confirm. Oh, that's right. Um, missiles. Yes, they do not get that extra yes, bonus. Alright, Rennick, let's go ahead and run you instead. We'll bring you all the way up. Let's move. I'm still expecting an enemy lance of uh, mechs to come in at some point, but they're not here yet. Hey. Oh, there we are. More contacts on the census, Commander. Looks like we're sending in units to hunt and to destroy our employers' people. Okay. Hold this position, Commander. Well, I'm Package very glad. I'm very glad that we ran everybody as far as we did. Yeah, we're going to have this fight here now. We do need to keep them alive. But I think they should have enough distance that they should all be there by the beginning of the next round. So we should be safe. Uh, we need to protect it for one more turn. Okay. What's the plan? Well, Rabbit, buddy, uh, we're going to get you going as fast as possible. Let's head... We'll stay on the road just because of the extra movement. Uh, that fire starter is not going to be an issue. Fire in the snow, not exactly known for uh, Standing by. going too crazy. Although, if we move back here, what do we got? We have two AC2s and an LRM-15. Ooh. You yeah, know what? I feel like that's not the worst. Yeah, we've only got 155. 30, 35, and uh, I think a fire starter is a 30. Yeah, I think what we do here is, you know what? We're going to go ahead and jump. We're going to get ourselves as close as possible. Just for future turns. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and try and take out that fire starter before it gets nice and close. After all, we do have a fairly wounded uh, envoy member there. If we can direct the fire towards us, that would be ideal. Alright, 295s and a 70, I think that is good enough. Roger that. A very nice barrage. Okay, dropship has flown on in. That is most of them safe. And that is the weakest one off the board. That is perfect for us. Alright, fire starter. Yeah. Definitely no reason to be concerned about you. Systems holding. All right, a Jenna. Oh, good grief. We are very, very lucky that they are not doing more damage. Good thing they have cover. All right, Javelin, what about you? Still moving? Okay. Receiving you. Rannick, let's go ahead and uh, fix them before they start doing anything too much. We do have a 55 in the back, but we're not going to get eyes on for a bit. So I suppose... I suppose we will move you... Uh, we 
Do we gain cover? We could get cover. But that would put more weapons out of range. I think we're going to go for the quick kill here. Uh, let's pick up the... Hmm. That gen is pretty solid. LRM-15 on a javelin. Fire starter, not really a concern, and it's nice and close for everybody else. I think... I think we focus on the Jenna. That's going to be our, our uh, target of choice for now. Alright, Rennick, finish him off. Roger that. Alright. There goes part of the torso. Critical hit. And an arm rolling downhill. And they have a Shadow Hawk. Okay. Been a while since we fought one of those. Spy Master. Well then, let's get you working. I think just to make sure that everybody stays on the mission, we're going to go ahead and do a bit of multi-targeting. We'll target pretty much everybody by the Jenner, I think. Yeah, one shot on the fire starter, one shot on the javelin, and one on the shadow hall. So we'll go 10 to 15 to C. I think. B can go with the... Uh, that's all about the same. Uh, we send a couple of LRM-15s. Uh, hang on, yeah. They're worth it. Uh, we'll do one LRM against B. The rest can go against A. I think that'll be fine. There's enough... Uh, there's enough to go around for everybody. Alright, so make sure that he's a pet... They're all paying attention to us and not to the, not the convoy. Oh, we even got a uh, stray shot. Huh. So with three targetings, we hit four, four enemies. That's not bad. All right, so that's everybody out of the way. That is good. Now we can just get ready for the good old fisticuffs. Let's bring Rabid. Yeah, let's get you moving. We're going to go ahead and I think we just... Who do we want to scrap? Uh, that general looks awfully tempting, and there's a good chance that some shots could pass through to the Shadow Hawk. Yeah, that's what we do. Uh, we're going to get rid of this guy. Firing. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Target neutralized. Well, that did certainly pan out. Good to go. Uh, Angel, let's go jumping jet get you nice and close. I think we'll focus on the... What do we got? Go for the flamer? Or the javelin? You know what? I think we're gonna go... We're gonna focus on the fire starter. Make sure that he does not get any you know, nuisance working against us. And you know what? We have enough resolve. Let's also go precision strike. Make it as probable as possible. Let's go... Go for the headshot. Why not? That. Yep, that'll do it. Target doing. Good job. Objective secured. All right, so convoy is safe. That is ideal. Now all that we've got to do is mop on up, and we are all good. All right, so they seem to be retreating uphill. Fair enough, going through a little bit of high ground. I don't know why they move twice then. That feels a little bit uh funky, but Oh well. Waiting for orders. Uh Rannick, let's just get you nice and close. Can we get you to a point where we can Uh all about the same. Yeah, let's just go ahead and finish off that Shadow Hawk. Let us not let him take any more shots. Go for the headshot. Uh, there goes an arm, a head injury, that is useful. That hit something good. We would prefer to have the heavier salvage if at all possible. Ready for orders. Uh I think what we do here is Yeah, we're gonna follow up with Spy Master. He's got a fair chunk of armor. I don't think we'll necessarily kill him, so we'll go for the precision shot, go for the heads. Uh, that's 18%, so that's not too bad. Maybe we'll get it with the lasers, maybe not. 
we will find out. Got it. Oh, and we got another head injury. That is good. But unfortunately, he is a defender, so he's got at least a fourth hit point as a pilot. Receiving you. So, what do we do here? You know what? I think we try and keep the salvage for the Marauders. So let's bring the Highlander forwards. I'm going to go ahead and tag this poor little javelin. Moving and then the finish it off with the Atlas. I think that is what we're going to do. Alright, so he's in a real rough space. How Rabid, help? let us put him out of his misery. Let's, uh, yeah. Be there in a jet. Move on up. And 85s across the board. That is really good. Uh, we do... We get extra accuracy for having it being tagged. Uh, no. Huh, did we not manage to tag it? Oh, well, I guess we could have missed. That is possible, but I don't think we'll miss with all of this. This will be more than enough. I understand. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, that'll, uh... Style removed. That'll do it. All right. Ooh. I hadn't thought about that. Maybe we should have gone ahead and used Vigilance as well for... for Rannick there, just Order. so we could have avoided a little bit of extra uh, damage. Not that it's particularly worrying, given the fact that we have so much uh, armor and we're not in a poor condition. But I think it's something worth noting for in the future for when we're in uh, tougher missions. So let's go ahead, precision strike, see if we can get ourselves a shadow hawk. Yep, there we go. Finally taking that thing down. Tango down. All right, area has been cleared. Green light to land. Mission successful. Nice, we're done. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we know what we're going to be taking. We're going to be picking up that Shadow Hawk because that is going to be the worth the most. We do get an extra little bit of pay for the reinforcements as well as keeping everybody alive, so that's a hundred grand. Not too shabby. And then, what do we do here? Uh, they do have the LRM-10s with a Critical chance, medium lasers, or just jump jets. Yeah, there's really nothing worth noting. We're just going to go ahead for the tonnage. Let's make sure we pick up that Shadow Hawk. Put one of those together. And then, because everything else is so light, we should probably go ahead and go... Uh, we'll go for part of a... Actually, you know what? Uh, the cicada could be good, but I don't think that finishes anything off. Let's pick up a fire starter and a javelin. That way we can sell two things off immediately. And we still have a bunch of extras, so there's a good chance we're going to get a lot of mech parts anyway. But this way we at least finish off three full mechs. Alright, they gave us the... Oh, what is it? Yeah, we did get the Cicada, we got some Locust pieces, the Jenna, uh, the Flamer, and a specialized uh, medium laser. Okay, we don't mind having a modified one of those. It's not exactly what I think is uh, the most important, but you never know. More accuracy doesn't exactly hurt, especially if we end up picking up another pilot, but you never know. But hey, it still, of course, uh, is better than the base model, so we will not be complaining. Alright, so I think uh, since that was nice and quick, we might go ahead and pick up that other mission here while we're uh, just sorting everything out. And then I that think... Mech you wanted, that mech, that mech is ready there to we fight, go. Commander. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make sure we head to the mech bay. Make sure we chuck those into cold storage, just so we're not accidentally paying for them. Fire starter, say goodbye. Javelin as well. As soon as it starts to load. And the Shadow Hawk. Alright, not bad. Alright, back to the contracts. We're going to be picking up a. Is it the tag team? 
no, that's the pirates. We're trying to we're trying to keep them happy again. Yeah, forward observers. This is the one. Yep. So let's go ahead and go full salvage yet again. This is a straight off battle. So you know what? I think this is a perfect opportunity to bring ourselves an annihilator. So let's uh take that archer, put that back. I think I think this is something that I want to try out. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh take Spymaster home. We're going to jump on into the pilot seat of our very new annihilator. Alright, look at that. 1800 armor. That is exactly what we want. That is the that is the funkiest boy we got. Now we do have what's this? Extra range large lasers, AC2s, the UAC2s. Yeah, we're gonna be gonna be doing good. And we've got stunning amounts of heat efficiency. Huh. Alright, well, let us see what we got. Now we do have the breaching shot. So that might be worth noting if we take a multi-attack. Maybe send a uh, UAC against an option or two and then the rest as a uh, full barrage. You never know, that could work, especially if they're in cover. Might make a uh, fair bit of difference to the uh, damage output that we could do. Mind you, of course, if we can uh, shoot at them from behind while they're in cover, we completely ignore it, so that would be just as effective. Okay, so the objective, destroy enemy scout lands. Scouts have observed a directorate military unit uh, covertly surveying military and industrial targets. This increased activity from the Augur and Directorate near several priority facilities suggests a strike is coming soon. We're tasking you with intercepting the scout lance that is identifying targets and eliminate it before it can report back. Okay, we don't have any intelligence about other possible enemy forces on the ground, Commander, so keep your eyes open. Command interface initiated. Okay, so I don't know if that means we're definitely going to be dealing with things, or whether there's just a hand. Okay, so to intel that they're in the area, sweep them, find them, clear them. No worries. And they've very graciously put us on the high ground with some very, very nice weaponry for being in this situation. So, oh, whereabouts are they? They're up higher. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I suppose we're going to go ahead and sprint on forwards. We may as well travel as far as possible. See if anything pops up. Oh, and we do. What are we dealing with? We have a 60 ton mech. Okay. Also, too, let's just check out the paint job on that annihilator there. That is... That looks good. I really do like that. That is... That's nice. Alright, Rannick, let's get you moving forwards as well. Affirmative. The Highlander, we're going to go ahead and sprint. I don't think jump jets will get us quite as far, not yet, but when we're dealing with this uh, awkward terrain, that could come in handy. And then, uh, what do we do? We have AC-20s over here. Maybe we go around for a flanking maneuver. Use as much of our movement as possible. And uh, maybe open up some light lines. Either that or we just uh, bring ourselves nice and close and scare the absolute uh, life out of them as they see two AC-20s preparing to fire. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to go for the flanking maneuver. Certainly. We're going to go tactical atlas today. Alright. So far, nobody is moving. Marauder not showing anything. We're going to go ahead and reserve, I dare say. Reserving Only action. since we cannot take any shots. I'd rather put damage down range than uh, taking fire first. Alright, I have a Shadow Hawk. Not exactly threatening. These things aren't too well armored. And a Cicada. Okay. Uh, they're going with more energy weapons this time around. Alright, far more effective than the uh, last one at the PPC. And then, what is that? Is that a Vulcan? Yeah, it's going to be a bit more annoying. And then, of course, there is that 60 tonner in the back. Alright. Orders. Well, we may as well get on moving. Let's pick up all the evasion we can. And I think we'll say... 
Ooh, what do we want? You know what? Walk forwards, and then we'll make decisions. Alright, so the Cicada, nothing too crazy in weapon loadout. The Vulcan, that's a solid amount of medium lasers, as well as a Flamer. And then... Phoenix Walk, large and two mediums and a small. Hmm. I think we might focus on... That. At... Uh, 50... I think that does about 40... 20, so they all pan out to be about the same, except the Vulcan has a flamer as well as a machine gun. So I suppose we're going to go ahead and target you first. So let's see if we can get a cold headshot. Not bad as far as our weapon percentages are concerned. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Nice. Target eliminated. All right. Quick draw. Alright, that's not bad. We will uh, definitely be able to get shots on him, though, before the next turn, so we're going to be fine. Although I did see that he ran over the vent there, so he's going to have a bit of issues with cooling. Alright, Annihilator. Let's bring ourselves forwards and... Oh, I'm awfully tempted. Our Phoenix Hawk. I think we could afford to scrap a Phoenix Hawk, right? Yeah, let's... Uh, full Salvo, full Send, that's right. And uh, heat-wise, we have plenty of it to spare. So let's just go ahead and get rid of one. Uh, is the cicada more of an issue? No, no it's not. So we're going to go Phoenix Hawk and who knows, maybe even a stray shot. Yep, okay, well we did do just that. Not bad. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. So that's going to be really bad. Oh, we even got a headshot. That is phenomenal. Okay. So that's Cicada. That is very lucky to be alive. Wow. Yeah, must have hit that with a uh, UAC 2 or something along those lines. And then the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, slowly cutting down on its Receiving ability you. to fight back. Alright. Uh, Highlander, let's get you moving. We're going to go ahead and... Do we just finish it off? I think we may as well. Jumping. Let's get you jumped up into a good position. We're going to go ahead and fire on the Phoenix Hawk. Locking on target. Yep. That'll Hostile do. Eliminated. And then Rabid. Reporting. Uh, uh, not going to get into position. This isn't... This fight isn't going to last long enough for us to be able to do anything. Oh man. Oh well. Well, I suppose we may as well just uh, mosey on up over here. In fact, yeah, uh, it's a level. It's a third initiative. I, I was thinking about maybe doing a vigilance or two, but we don't have the resolve. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Oh, fantastic! Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh, more enemies. This is good. I want more enemies. I'm enjoying playing around Barely with this plans. All right, Headhunter. Commander. Well, let's get you into a pretty good posi position. We're going to go ahead and... You know what? I think we'll take this terrain here. That should give us a little bit of cover from incoming mechs. But that should still give us some very good shots on that quick draw. So no that's problem. what we're going on to go way. and do. A precision strike. Pick you up. And... Taken out an arm. Critical hit, Commander. Okay. Oh, it's not feeling too good after that explosion. Alright, Marauder's taking shots to the side. Systems holding. Yep, that is the side of the Gauss Cannon, so we do need to be wary about that. Honestly, I thought we may have been able to break uh, a uh, direct line of sight, but it turns out we must have been slightly off. Alright, so, Cicada, what are you going to do? Follow one up, just like everybody else. I'm gonna need a medic. Ooh, headshot, that's uncool. But the good news is we've got pretty solid medical base, so you should be healthy by the time we make it to the Orders. next planet. Alright, uh, Angel. 
what to do here. You know what? I think we're going to just focus on getting rid of this nuisance. Just take shots on the cicada and uh, provide a better target than the marauder, maybe? I think so. Engaging now let's jump on up over there. Avoid some of that terrain. Cicada, let's just get rid of you. I don't need to fight you anymore. You'll be, uh... Oh, almost as good as dead, but that is... I think I hit something good. Doing pretty good to still survive that. That was, uh, quite a shot. Alright, getting entrenched. Very clever. But I don't Minimal think entrenched is going to save it from an AC-20. Uh, yes, Commander. Hmm. 55, 50, yeah, this is the heaviest one around, so we do want to keep it intact of sorts. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's move you up over here, just so we're in a good position for next turn. Yes, Commander. And uh, incoming damage. And then, yeah, we're going to say goodbye to the Cicada. I have faith in Radak. Oh yeah. You know what, we probably didn't need to use a full salvo there. That was probably a little bit of overkill. Alright, and for myself, I think we're going to go ahead and... What have we got? We've got good shots, but I don't think it's uh, worth doing. I want to get these guys in, uh, in position. So we're going to go blitzing on forwards because we have stacks and stacks of armor we can handle anything they throw at us but i want good shots so we're gonna go ahead and uh full throttle this yeah there we go wonder how they're feeling about an annihilator coming marching down a giant hill filled to the brim with nothing but guns and ammo all right damage minimal that seems good to me. Alright, Rannick, let's get you... Uh, point blank on the Gauss Rifle. It's not going to get any better, but I suppose this should be nice and simple. That will be more than enough, given everything we've got. Also, the cover will be very useful. Position confirmed. Yeah, just make sure that they're trying to focus on us. Alright, there's your target. We know what to do. Uh, precision strike. Go for the headshot. Thank you. Yeah, all these 95s, I'm pretty confident. Firing a full salvo. Uh, missed with the Gauss rifle. No surprises there. We did. Oh my goodness, the guy Jolly will live. Man, that's annoying. Okay, well. Alright, another Shadow Hawk. Yep, no big deal there. We can manage this. Uh, taking shots again. Yep. This is why I put you out front. We have all of the armor. Right, and this guy's going final. Uh, Good to go. You know what? I'm um, kind of tossing up whether I just finish this guy off with one of our other weapons. He's got next to no health. There's a good chance we destroy him anyway on the next turn with Rannick. But I don't want to take any unnecessary melees or things. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're just going to make sure we get rid of him now. He's been surviving a little bit too much for all my liking. We're going to go ahead and on move the way. Highlander here. We're going to go ahead and tag... Uh, let's see. Griffins or Shadow Hawks? I think they're both 55 tons. So I suppose it doesn't make much of a difference as to which one we attack. Yeah. It's all about the same at the end of the day. Uh, I think we'll maybe target the Shadow Hawk. Actually, we can't tag him. We can tag the Griffin. Never mind. That'll be our target. We'll multi target one of you here. Another one there. We're going to go... What do we care for? I think we'll send maybe the snubs to A or B. 
80%, that's not too bad. Then maybe an AC as well. That should be enough damage to deal with this quick draw. Yeah, I just don't want to have another another repeat offense of another melee to the face. He should really be dead. In fact, you know what? Check that. We're going to go ahead and send both our snubs. That will be enough to kill this guy. I don't want to risk no. Rannick. Alright, Griffin is marked. That is good. Two shots from Critical snubs. He didn't... He didn't kill the jolly fella. Okay. Alright, going against the Highlander. That is good. I'm guessing that armor has paid... Sorry, the cover has paid off for Rannick. Uh, Rabid. You know what? I suppose Rennick can now sort out this one if we really want. He's already dedicated enough. I think he would want to see that thing go down to his own hand. So let's bring... Yeah. AC-20s to bear on a tagged griffin. <laughs> well, have no doubt it will be done. Yeah, exactly. Have no doubt it will be done. We're going to take this and enjoy it. All right. Confirm. Big kaboom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very nice. That's a kill. Yep. There was no questions as to that. That thing was going down. All right, the Annihilator. Let's roll on a little bit further forwards. It's going to pop up over here and... Uh, I don't know. Target who... Uh, whichever mech we wish to go for. In fact, we have the best odds against the one in the back with everything. So I suppose that's what we'll do. You know what? We're going Precision Strike. We have Resolve to Spare. Let's go ahead for the 18% headshot. Between all of these weapons, we stand a decent chance at getting it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh wow. Holy moly. That is... Enemy that is... That is aggressive. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Love that. Alright. That is fun. All right, let's see. Uh, where are we at? We're at Headhunter's turn. All right, now if we do travel behind, we are not going to get the attempt at the headshot. So we'll, yeah, we'll bring you up behind the Highlander. Let's make sure that you're nice and safe from any other incoming fire. We'll go Precision Strike as always. Go for the headshot, but at this point, if he doesn't, get his cockpit blown up. He's toast anyway. Uh, you know what? We'll drop the Gauss rifle just to save us a little bit of heat. Sure. That should be enough. Alright, and head destroyed. And we somehow did not hit that center torso, so we've got some good scrap there. Alright, Shadowhawk versus Atlas. I think we know which way this fight is going to go. I don't think it's in their favor. Alright. Uh, let's... You know what? <laughs> can we mosey on into their... into their back? Yes, we can. Okay, this is... Uh, at this point, it's almost a cruel joke. Yeah, we got both of their backs. We're gonna go with a multi-target because that is better for us. We'll drop off the... Yeah, we'll move those 50s over to the other one. Uh, we'll go B, B, and B. There we go. UACs to the back of that one. Medium lasers. This is going to burn through a stack. And that's not even potentially including... Uh... Yeah, they're not going to have enough damage for this. Good grief. Yeah, their armor is uh, going to be toast. And we can still get a stray shot as well. Alright, ammo explosion pilot engine. Oh. Absolutely hammering on that poor Phoenix Hawk. Sorry, on that poor yeah, poor Phoenix Hawk. Okay. What's the plan? Rabid, let's get you ready. I think we're gonna finish it off with some beautiful AT AC twenty fireworks. Yeah oh, you know what? Precision strike. Eighteen percent, you never know. It's worth it if we can. Firing. Never mind. We got both legs. That'll Enemy do it. Down. That'll do it. Alright, well, 
Found that certainly shut successful. down their offensive. Yes, yes it did. Okay. That was fun. That was a good one. I can't believe that they even gave us the benefit of being right on top of that mountain. That was just fantastic. Alright, an extra 100,000. Uh, Rannick's going to be out for 8 days, but that'll be fine. We need to fly to another location. Uh, parts. We want parts. Ah, only one piece of the quick draw survived. I could have sworn that we only took out the head and not the center torso, but... Maybe I just missed that as it all popped up. Okay, well... It is what it is. Uh, we could pick up a Vulcan for 40 tons. We could pick up a... Yeah. We're only grabbing bits and bobs. Either that or a uh, fairly light mech. And they're not the ones that give us a good salvage. Any specialized weapons? Eh. Nothing that's going to make a great deal of difference. But you know what? How about we just go ahead and we'll take the heaviest amount of scrap. We'll take the quick draw, the griffin, and the shadow hawk to H. Yeah, maybe would have been a little bit more careful at the very end there, but I suppose... Yeah, I couldn't have known. I, I honestly thought that we had a full quick, quick draw to take, so... Alright, we'll take that. Uh, we get a cicada, uh, the other shadow hawk, and oh, we even got a full Vulcan. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? That's probably as good as we could really ask for. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, so we can sell off those mechs before we fly out of Arano space. I think we're going to pick up that mission for the pirates. We would want to get that extra discount if we can for the black market, because good grief, everything there is so jolly expensive. Um... And then, of course, because it is a contract at Kimi, they're also a former Star League present, so there's potential for SLDF stuff there. Or, uh, sorry, lost tech. So, uh, Mech Bay, let's go ahead and send our, send our new mech to the storage unit for selling. So, let's go ahead and make sure that that Vulcan goes away. And then with everything else, let's go to the store and sell everything that we can. Alright. Selling off the... Oh, that's right. We picked up a second archer, didn't we? Ah, well, at least we can uh, get some good cash for that. Fire starter as well. 300 grand. Javelin. Shadowhawk. And a Vulcan nicely beefing up our funds that's always good uh we do have a potential for an upgrade for the ship um do we try and finish the mech bays get fully uh sorted out with our own new machine shop you know what i think that we do it's not super expensive which is good we're trying to hold on to a Second. bit of cash just in case Second something bit, is we'll get it done. desirable in the uh in the store uh i think we'll just quickly you know run through our barracks make sure that we have given promotions to everybody uh full level tens you're good fine go. you're good uh, Rannick is sorted. Done. I'm not too far off getting a couple of other level 10s. Yes, Commander. Ready for orders. And everybody else is, uh, yeah, we have a fully, uh, fully well, uh, set up plans. All right. Uh, okay, so, uh, what was it? Oh, that's right. We're going to double check the store, make sure that there is nothing worth that we want to sell. We're going to get the most, par uh, most bang for buck while we are here. I don't think that there's too much to focus on. I think we've been pretty good as far as staying on top of all of that stuff. Uh, some good lasers, flamers. No, never getting rid of a gauss rifle. We're keeping those. Yeah, I think I think we're doing fine as far as everything is concerned. Maybe you know what? We'll sell off a bunch of these standard medium lasers. I will keep. Uh, 10 of them, 
I think that's fine. Sell off the rest. And then machine guns, we can probably sell off. Uh, we'll keep... We'll keep half, that seems fine. And that should probably do us for now. Yeah, we have a bunch of small lasers. Uh, SRMs, yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, I think that's good. Uh, we're not selling off any of those double heat sinks for grief. No, that's uh, that's never going to be sent away. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our contract. Let's pick up the pirate mission. There's some good salvage there. It's an assassinate mission, so you never know what kind of mech we, we will be dealing with. Hopefully, it's a very nice one. Now, the question is... Yeah, I think we go full... We could actually, you know what? Go for a little bit of extra reputation, but I don't think that that is worth it. We're still trying to go for money. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick up a mech from the Assassinate mission, which I'm pretty happy with. It's against a planetary government too, so that's Roger just that, free reputation. We don't have to upset anybody with that. That is good. And, um, oh, that's right. Hang on. Before we go any further, uh, so, uh, Rannick mentioned about our Highlander. We're going to have a quick check out of that. Uh, the Highlander here, yeah, if we go to refitting, there is, a, there is a great deal of heat efficiency in this mech, and so we could potentially be upping our damage out. And where is it? Yeah, we have an extra three, three hard points that we could be using for damage in the uh, close range, potentially. So you know what? The heat sinking that we have, what are we at at the moment? Yeah, we're only gaining 7 heat from an Alpha Strike, which is remarkably minimal. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's a good observation there. We're going to go ahead and pull you off. And... What would we do? Jump just a necessary... How about equipment? Uh, we could chuck on... Oh, sorry, not equipment. We want weapons. Uh, small lasers. Oh, they're only half a ton of piece. It's not a bad idea. Extra damage is rather nice. Yeah, I suppose that could work well. Uh, only being half a ton is very good. How about these other small lasers? Yeah, they're also... They're also doing pretty good. So you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait a second. Small pulses. There, yeah, that's one ton. Okay, so we could only fit two on. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think we go... I think we're going to go ahead and pick up two... Two small lasers. We'll go with the... Uh, yeah, we'll just go with the standard ones. That should be fine. Uh, you know what? Go for the extra accuracy. Sure, why not? Uh, just to make sure. Yeah, so that does drop our heat efficiency technically if we do a full alpha strike. But it's not enough for it to be of any substantial threat. And the heat that these things generate is so... So minimal for the extra damage output. And we're only going to be doing that if we get really nice and close. And considering we've got AC2s and snub PPCs and LRMs, there's not a huge chance of them getting close. But at least if they do, we're going to have a very good time there. So we may as well spend the... Yeah, not even 2,000 sea bills. And uh, get that sorted. I think that's a good idea there. Right. I'll Make the most of our tonnage for as uh, many possibilities as possible. Alright, and then I think from there, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep on flying. Got, uh, yep. Up that job you asked for, Commander. One day with that sorted out, that is good by me. A couple of days, we're going to have another financial report. Uh, Headhunter will be back on the same day, but that is good. You are. We'll just pay our standard amount, no need to spend more than we need. Uh, ship upgrades are a while away. Yeah, and only 10 days until we reach there. So that should give us... Uh, we should probably have enough time to do a couple of quick missions. See if we can salvage any lost tech from those. And then start flying over to the next story mission. I don't think, uh, even if we get another contract for the pirates, I don't think we're going to go ahead and take it. 
I think uh, I think we've spent enough time between storyline missions. After all, we're already at, I think it's like, what is it? Close to episode 80... 84? 85? Yeah, so... Uh, it's been a fairly long-running series. Alright. Any events popping up as we fly by? No, we do not. Okay. That's fine by me. Well, let's pick up... Uh, we'll say not just yet. We're going to have a quick... A quick... Uh, big at the store. Uh, it's, that's the regular store. We have a 3R. Yeah, we've already got one of those before. Nothing too crazy there. If we can find a 2R, that would be the uh, super fancy one. Ooh, they have a little Irby mech. Hmm. Alright, uh, ER medium laser, you know what, that's probably a good fit for our, uh, for our Marauder, so you know what, we're gonna go ahead and buy that straight on up. There's no New questions about that. Available. Uh, the large and the medium pulses, we could, oh sorry, uh, yeah, we have a large pulse and a medium pulse. They're not bad, the heat is fairly high though, but they do good damage. And then, of course, we have uh, a large pulse as well. Could be potentially good. Oh, double heatsink? Yes. Uh, ooh. I think we're going to go ahead and purchase that. Yeah, 10% price increase. That does hurt us. But you know what? Uh, double heatsink, they're, they're not easy to find. So that's certainly worth picking up. And especially too, if one of our huge mechs for some reason loses a limb, we're definitely going to need to replace that because that's kind of crucial. Alright, so you know what? I think that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and come back with the mission in the next one. So if you do want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button because that is the best way to catch all future content. And I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.